Alright, one of my favorite distributions for beginners is a distribution called Zorin OS and it just turns out that they recently released a version 6 which is a light edition. It's based on Ubuntu and it runs the LXDE user interface. This is wonderful for older, older hardware. We're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's have a look at the new Zorin OS 6 Lite. And uh, I actually donated some money towards this project uh, when I uh, switched to Linux last year because this is an amazing distribution. Um, it works right out of the box and for the most part it includes uh, a lot of the things that you would want to use, at least in their core edition. Now this is their Lite version, so obviously this isn't going to include a lot and actually this will fit on a CD but there are a few points that I'm going to show you here so that you can install extra items should you need them so this is a good lightweight system to start off with and it's great for older hardware okay first let's take a look at the panel and then I'll move on to some other features before we go into the software that this has okay first some of the things that Zorn is well known for is they have some pretty interesting tools that they come with. You have an internet browser manager. Let's go ahead and launch this. And you can choose which browser you want to have as your main web browser. And it gives you options to install them. Currently, Chromium is the default browser. You can uninstall that from here and then install Firefox if you wish to. Very nice touch. Also, in system tools here you have the Zorin look changer and you can make it look like Windows 2000 which is the current appearance that it has now or you can give it a Mac OS X look and of course you have to log out and log back in to apply those changes I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the current look rather than logging in and logging back out And then you have the Zorin OS Lite Extra software. And this is just a quick launcher that will allow you to install some extra goodies should you decide that you need them, such as a media center. You can click the icon here and it'll tell you which program it's going to install. This is the Movita that you can install with this if you want. You can get a suite of games with this. You can get the VLC media player along with some additional codecs. Wine, if you want to try and run your Windows applications. There's a spreadsheet program. And then, of course, a paint program. Very nice touches that they have on these. And, of course, if you, if you uh, for a donation, uh, pay for the Ultimate Edition, you get some even cooler stuff. You get this uh, animated wallpaper changer, and uh, they, they just have all kinds of really neat things that they bundle into them. And so that's why I thought I'd uh, support their project. But the thing is, you don't have to pay for You could just get the core install and get the programs elsewhere, uh, you know, doing some web searches and that sort of thing. Just something I thought I'd mention. Okay, let's look at the panel here. You have a power control here, the time, network indicator, power supply indicator, and a volume control. Over here, this is set up for two desktops. You get a link to the Audacious Music Player, the File Manager. This uses the lightweight PC Man FM File Manager, which is what I'm using on my system right now as a main. And then, uh, and then you have the Chromium web browser, as I had indicated before. Okay, now let's go into uh, see what else you get with this. In accessories, you get a simple archive manager, a calculator, character map, another link to your file manager, leaf pad text editor, which is a very nice lightweight text editor, sticky notes, and terminal. 
in graphics. You get document viewer, which is events, image viewer, and simple scan in internet. It already has Chromium web browser. I already showed you the internet browser manager. You get the Pigeon internet ma manager and Postler mail. In Office, you get Abbey Word word processor, my favorite word processor. You also get Dexter Contacts and Osmo Personal Organizer. And in Sound and Video, you get the Audacious Music Player that I mentioned earlier, Disc Burner, and Media Player. And then, of course, you get your standard system tools. Uh, you get a firewall configuration tool great for keeping your system protected. You get the JW Package Installer, Gparted, Printing, Remaster Sys, great for, uh, it's a wonderful tool for making a live CD of your system. So you could actually use, you could actually make some modifications to this operating system, run Remaster Sys, and back that up to a live DVD if you wanted to. That's a nice touch. Task Manager, Time and Date, Update Manager, User and Groups, Windows Wireless Drivers, great for those of you who are using some exotic hardware out there for your wireless and you might need a Windows driver. This will help you get that working. And then your standard complement of preferences, additional drivers. You can customize the look and feel. Why don't we do that? We can also do that by right-clicking on the desktop and selecting desktop preferences here. And then there are, um, it looks like it only gives us one wallpaper, which is the Raise PNG. Okay, and then you can change the background color and other options for text and fonts. Okay, and then you can show menus provided by window managers when the desktop is clicked. And then of course, let's open up LX Appearance from the preferences. This is customized look and feel here, where this will give us some other options as well, I believe. Yes. And you can see here, there are a number of them to choose from. You can change the way uh, the windows and everything here appears. You can also change to custom colors. There are a few icon themes to choose from. You get uh, white or black cursors. You get window borders, fonts, and then there are other graphical user interface options. So all in all, this is a nice lightweight operating system that you can use on older hardware and Zorin will be releasing uh, a new core and a new uh, version 6 uh, other options uh, in the coming days I expect. The only thing about Zorin is I felt I outgrew it too quickly even when I was using the Zorin OS 5 Ultimate Edition. Uh, you know, but the thing is, this is a great distribution for beginners. It's great for you to get your feet wet with Linux. And because it's based on Ubuntu, if you run into any problems, you can not only check the Zorin OS website for answers to your questions, but you can also find answers on the Ubuntu website as well. You could even possibly find a solution on Linux Mint or the Pinguy OS forums, or any pretty much any distribution that's based on Ubuntu. So this is a wonderful operating system if you're uh, just coming from Windows or Mac OS X and you want to try something different, this is definitely a good operating system to try out. Also, if you have older hardware and you want to bring that older hardware to life, use a Linux distribution and put it to work for you. Uh, I can't sing Zorin enough praises. This is a well thought out and stable operating system. Every distribution of Zorin I've tried in the past has always been good and so if you're new to Linux definitely look at this one. If you thought this was useful please comment, like, and subscribe Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. I'd also like to welcome all of my new subscribers if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send me a private message. I will try my best to answer your questions the best that I can.
And if I do not know the answer, and in all likelihood that could be the case, I will at least try and find an answer for you or point you in the right direction. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys on IRC this weekend, Saturday night in the United States. And that will be Sunday in European countries. We're going to have that nice chat on how to make Linux better. I hope to see you all there. And if I don't, well then we'll just see you next time. Mm -hmm.